Welcome to the stage of history. Welcome to Nona Jubilee Tourney 2008. This is a selection of studies I like from the Nona Tourney 2008. At first we see the first prize by Yuri Baslov. White is to play and win. He starts with Queen G5 when black can set up a nice defense with knight g3, bishop takes g3, rook g7 check, king takes g7, queen f8 check, king h7, bishop g6 check, king takes g6, queen g8 check and now it becomes clear what black planned. After queen takes g8 it is stalemate. So it is a draw you think? Wrong. White plays king h6, queen h8 check, king g5, queen g8 check, king f4, again queen takes g8 is stalemate. So after king f4, queen takes d5, we arrive at the final stage. Bishop h4 check, king e6, d8 knight check, note that d8 queen fails to queen e4 check, king g5, queen e3 check with a perpetual check. So we have d8 knight check, king d6, bishop e7 checkmate. The judge writes Chess game is a fight between white and black. Only in high level studies black can realize good resistance. In this study black plays with stalemate and white finish play with the mate ending. The study makes wonderful impression in spite of the immovable rook on a7. Let's get to the next one. This is the fourth prize by Sergei Diduk. White is again to play and this time he must win again but it is not so easy. One sees that black has a queen, he also has a few pawns on the queen side. Sure white has a passed pawn on g5 but how can he push him forward? The right way is to exchange the rooks for the queen by rook a8 check, king h4, rook takes h4 check. Note the thematic try, rook c4 check, queen takes c4, rook takes a4 check, king takes a4, b3 check, queen takes b3, c takes b3 check, king a3. And the game is a draw. For example, king f5, b5, g6, c4, g7, c3, g8, queen, c2, queen g1, king b2. And the pawn on b3 is actually bad for white. So black has, uh, white has to go the other way with rook takes a4 check. Queen takes a4, rook c4 check, king takes c4, b3 check, queen takes b3, c takes b3 check, and now black has nothing better than king takes b3. However, white has to be extremely careful. The only winning move is the paradox king h5. King f5 fails to c4 g6, c3, g7, c2, g8, queen check, king b2 and this, it is still a draw. So back to king h5. When black loses after c4, g6, c3, g7, c2, g8 queen check, 
king b2, queen g7 check, king b1, queen g6, and now you see why the king didn't have to be a didn't be able to go to f5. Black only can play king b2, queen f6 check. Note that the pawn on b6 is needed by white. King b1, queen f5, b5, queen d3, b4, queen b3 check, king c1. Since king a1, queen takes c2 is not a stalemate. King g4. And white brings the king to the action and will easily win. The third study won the first special prize. It is by Velimir, Velimir Kalandatze. And white again is to move and win. The winning way is not queen d4 check, since black doesn't play king e7, of course but king e6 and after king g8 queen g2 check it is a draw so the winning way is queen f4 check king e6 and now the unexpected queen f7 check when black has nothing better than to take the queen and white plays d8 knight check after king f6 check, knight takes b7, king e5, black aims to win the pawn on a2. However, he will lose due to a mate that was discovered some centuries ago. King g6, king d4, king f5, king c3, king e4, king b2, king d3, king takes a2 king c2 and black is incarcerated king a1 knight c5 king a2 knight d3 king a1 knight c1 a2 and the known mate bishop uh, sorry knight b3 checkmate Our final example is the special honoring mention by Grigory Slepian. Black is to move but white has to draw. At first it seems there is so many pieces on the board. Well, you can pause the video, take a little time to think about it if you want and then can continue. Black plays rook b8 check when white doesn't play d8 queen due to rook e5. Queen takes e5, bishop a4 check, rook a d7, queen takes e5, f8 queen check, king h8, g7 check, king h7 and black wins. So it is better to play d8 bishop. Of course one could try d8 knight. But here's another point of the study. Black can play rook e5, queen takes e5, bishop a4 check, rook d7, queen takes e5, f8, bishop check king h8 g7 check and now black will win after queen takes g7 of course not king h7 since this would be a draw so let's get back white plays d8 bishop rook e5 queen takes e5 bishop a4 check rook d7 Queen takes e5, f8 bishop, king h8, g7 check, king h7, and it is a stalemate. 
Note that black should not talk, uh, take on g7 since queen takes g7, bishop takes g7. Still is a draw. After the bet, king takes g7, however, bishop f6 is an unexpected checkmate. I hope this was informative to you. See you next time.